Now, so far we've talked about reading contents, but what if we want to write our contents? Well, you may notice that once again, we're focusing in on this idea of using the open function that Python has available to it, but instead of doing R, we would change this to a W. And I'm going to continue using the uh, with structure to this. So with open, uh, in this case, I'm not going to change readings.txt. I want to have a new file. Uh, I don't always need to make it a variable, but in this case, I am still going to do an absolute file path, uh, new file.txt. Right. Same kind of concept, I'd go in and say as f. Now, whatever I may want to write into my file is where I would come in here. So I have a file, it's available. Now I need to write to it. Okay, well, in this case, let's say for example, I want to extract out that, that fourth number in each line. So I, I see that each line is basically you know, gonna be a single digit, some ID number in this case, uh, this is a floating point timestamp, and then our, our number. So, okay, well, I happen to have my contents, no different than uh, when we were working off of a, a list structure in the past. So, for line in contents, uh, let's see, I want the uh, data, we'll call it data, um, at line dot split, and then my value or number, number is going to equal int data, at, uh, let's see, that is a zero, one, two, three. So I want that three, and that is not how you spell number. Okay, so I've extracted out, again, the number, but I haven't done anything to my file, so how do I write to my file? Well, in that case, it's still phi, and very similar to what we were dealing with when we were working off of uh, reading, so phi.readlines we can do phi.write. Now, I am going to add in a new line so that each number appears sort of on its own line. Uh, and to do this, I am gonna do a little string formatting. So, 01 or zero, curly braces, slash n, format number. And we take this and we run it. What do you know? It's done. Now, what does that look like on sort of the outputted file world? Well, if we come in, you may notice, oh, hey, what do you know? There's that new file that we just built. Let's take a look. And you can see all of those file or numbers are on their own line. Now, once again, if you think about it, the reason why I did that slash in is if I don't have that as my, my code uh, and I write this file, and not to spoil it, if I were to then take a look, again, if you think about it, all I've said is print the number into a file. That's it, and very explicitly, only print the number to a file. So if we were to take a look at newfile.txt, that's exactly what we see. Every, file, uh, every number is sandwiched right beside itself with no uh, spacing or anything of that nature. So that's where something like the slash ins or the commas or slash in may come into play or a comma or even uh, something like you know using the pipe but some form of a delimiter could come into play. And that's why again I'm just using slash in put it all on one line or all on a new line.